Hey Pet Collective, it's Tori Kelly and today I'm going to be showing you my pet. Come on in. I'm Tori Kelly. I am a musician. And these are my pets, Frodo and Dobby. I grew up with pets. I've always loved animals. I had a cat growing up that I'm still kind of hold a grudge towards her because she popped my Blue's Clues chair. But I had dogs growing up as well and they were always just so fun, so loyal. I had a couple hamsters as well. Just always loved animals, um, but really connected with dogs. So now that I'm an adult with my own place, it's fun to have two of my own dogs. Frodo and Dobby are both toy poodles. When I got married, a year into our marriage, we were like, you know what? We should get a dog. And so that's when Frodo came along, who's trying to escape right now. And then Dobby was actually a quarantine dog. I was the one who was like a little hesitant to get a second one, because I was like, I don't know, that's a lot of work. My husband kind of convinced me. He was like, I think it'll be good. Like, it'll be good for them. And he was absolutely right, because it took maybe like a week for them to kind of get used to each other, but once they did, they were just like play fighting all the time. They snuggle together. They're best friends. They're best, best buddies. And even when it comes to like doing tricks or teaching them new things, like they kind of like feed off of each other and learn from each other. So for us at least, it's been actually easier to like raise two dogs versus one because they're just always entertaining each other and they snuggle together, which is really cute. Bye. I never thought that I would be into poodles. Like I just, I always thought they were cute, but I just never knew how amazing they were. When I was just looking up different breeds, cause I knew I wanted a dog. I knew I wanted a small dog that I could travel with and tour with eventually. So I was just like Googling stuff and I Googled like world's smartest dogs and poodles came up as like the second one. So I was like, wait, this is so cool. They're so smart and a big part of even like making sure my dogs were really trained and wanting to put the effort into that was because we wanted to eventually take them on the road, just, you know, bring them everywhere. Like anything I'm doing for work, I wanted them to be able to come and be like well behaved. So um, that was always a big motivation just really early on. Yeah, my dogs will, they'll hang out with me in the studio. During uh, quarantine, I obviously was doing everything from home, recording, and, and that includes like doing Zoom interviews as well. So they were both sleeping like on a pillow behind me. And this is a, this is like online, like you can look it up. He, this guy, he's literally on the pillow. I'm in the middle of like, a pre, I don't know if it was like a deep question, but we were like in the thick of the interview. And behind me, you can just see Dobby like rolling off and he just like plops onto the ground. It's pretty amazing. I have like 50 dog voices. Dobby, come on, whoop, whoop, whoop. come on, whoop, 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 whoop. come, come. Frodo, come. Frodo. Dude, you're embarrassing me. I just always loved the Lord of the Rings. We were also just big fans of Harry Potter. We're just big nerds, so we were like, let's just name him Frodo. I thought it was a cute name too because like the hobbits are small, they're kind of underestimated, and you know, they're not supposed to be able to do like these big great things. And then this little guy is named after character Dobby, another kind of nerding out moment. So his fur, it kind of looks like he's wearing socks. And Dobby like, you know, at the end, and that's what makes him a free elf. So I was like, that's kind of cute, you know, he's wearing socks. Yeah, so Dobby's a free elf now. <laughs> Definitely done the whole dress up thing for Halloween. First year, we were like, okay, this is Frodo's first Halloween. Let's be Lord of the Rings characters. And then second year, we did all Harry Potter characters. So this, this year, I don't know what we're gonna do. I always joke around that my dogs need emotional support humans versus me needing an emotional support dog, but I think it goes both ways. I think they need me and I need them. <laughs> they definitely, you know, calm me down. If I'm feeling like stressed or I've just had a long day, there's nothing better than just walking in the front door and just being attacked by snuggles from your dog. Like stuff like that, I think those just little moments like that just just makes me so happy. And I, I can't even picture my life without them at this point.
So this is my home. These are my lovely poodles who are like exhausted right now for some reason. But this is their place. Basically, it's just kind of like their spot. So if we, like if we're eating food or something, we'll be like, go place. And if we're like at somebody's house and we have them, we can kind of make anything into like a place. So we can fold a blanket and be like, this is your place, like this is your spot. So they, they actually really like it there. Got their toys, which are always just completely scattered around the house. You guys have way too many toys. <laughs> this is just our living room and they love hanging out on the couch with us. We, um, we try to not just let them like up on the couch whenever they feel like it, like they have to be let up, so they just failed that. So we would say off, good, up, up. So they have to like, we try when people are over, we're like, don't just let them like jump on you. I think we're just, maybe we're just controlling parents, but we like when they obey us, huh? Cause you guys are good boys. So, do you guys wanna show them where you guys sleep and eat? Ready? Go night-night. <laughs> oh, did they go in the same one? Dobby <laughs> always does this. Dobby, go night-night. <laughs> so these are their crates. We crate train them. It's very, very tempting, I'm sure other dog owners can uh, agree with this. It's so hard to just not let them like sleep with you every night because they're so cuddly and great. But like, honestly, especially with the small one, um, we're kind of sc scared to squish him. Like my husband's very large. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so there's that, but also we, we've we just heard from different dog trainers that it's, it's good to crate train your dogs and uh, can help a lot with training and just like obedience and stuff. So yeah, that's their, those are like their little mini home. So this is my studio. This is where I spend a lot of time recording and writing and these guys like to be in here with me sometimes. However, this guy has a little bell, so if I'm recording something, I have to kick him out sometimes. But, um, but for the most part, they stay still. They just like, they'll sleep in here, they'll snuggle. Um, they have their place upstairs, which is like their little bed, but also in here, they should know where their place is in here. If I say, go place. Good boy. Very good boys. <laughs> I'm very impressed. All right guys, now it is time for Tricks for Charity. And today we're gonna be donating to Wings of Rescue. I'm super excited. I've prepped them for this. I think they're excited too. We're gonna make a lot of money for this charity. I think they're gonna kill it. Here we go. Good boys, you ready? Yes. Good boy. All right. First trick we'll do is down. Good boy. <laughs> yes, they're so ready. Let's try this next one. It's kind of fun. Heel. Great job. Good boy. Should we walk a little bit? Heel. Up. This one, see? He's mischievous. He likes to test me. Boom! Good boy. Speak. Can you do it too? Speak. Move his head, nothing comes out. Speak. He, I think he just, like his brother's just like speaking for him. So he thinks he's doing it. Speak. Okay, you're just sneezing. Let's skip that. You get a pass. Let's dance. 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 Good boy. Dance. Good boy. So, for the grand finale, I have a little surprise. We're going to take it down to my studio for the last trick. Go. Come on, boys. Okay, ready? Roto, you want to sing?
right, guys, I got an album to write, so I gotta kick you out now. But this has been fun. Huh? Do you guys have fun? Say bye.